Okay, today we're going to make a three-dimensional bottle and put a label on it. We're going to do that by combining some of these primitive shapes together on the left and turn it into the bottle on the right. Okay, so let's combine some shapes together using the Shape Builder tool. In order to use the Shape Builder tool, first we have to select all our shapes. I'm going to get the Shape Builder tool from my toolbox. Now to combine shapes together, all we have to do is click and drag. I want to combine this with this, that. Here's the neck of the bottle. Here's that little funny lip. Combine the rest of this together. Let's zoom in here. I want to combine this together. Okay, now the pieces of the cap here, I'm going to make this all one piece. So I will also combine these together. There we go. Okay, let's zoom out. Okay, so what we have to do in order to make our 3D bottle here is we have to cut these shapes in half and then revolve them. I'm going to leave this uh, this color right now so it's easier for you to see and then later we'll change it to white with a 30% opacity. Alright, so first thing we have to do is I'm going to draw a rectangle that cuts these shapes right down the middle. Oop, there we go. You can see my smart guides are helping me out down on the bottom there. We have to select everything, get our Shape Builder tool, only this time we have to hold down the Alt key in order to remove shapes. That gets rid of that, that, and that. Okay, so now what we're left is we have three little pieces here. We have the cap, the bottle body, and we have the bottom plastic piece of the bottle. Let's color this section. So this I'm going to make white. And give it about a 30% opacity. Okay, now I'm going to do a group. And revolve it. Control G to group. We can get our revolve effect from our appearance panel. 3D revolve. Hit the preview. Okay, pretty good. Uh, let's let's uh, fix the lighting a little bit while we're here. I want a nice reflection on the right side. There we go. Okay, I want to make one little change here. This brown part here, this is supposed to be that plastic piece that's on the bottom of those two liter bottles. Uh, I want it to look like it's showing through. So what I have to do is I just have to make this just a, a slight bit taller. So let me double click on this. This will take me into isolation mode. And now I can easily, I just want to nudge this up just a little tiny bit. Oh, there we go. So this is more what I'm looking for. Double click in an empty area to get out of isolation mode. Okay. Uh, now we're almost there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to need the settings over again in a little while. So I'm going to make a graphic style out of this. Go to my graphic styles up here. Hold down the Alt key. I'll just call it Bottle. And this shows up here. Now also notice the little box with the line through it. So this has become an additive style. You'll see what that is in a little while. Alright, now the next thing I want to do, 
I want to add some artwork to the surface of the bottle. I created a label over here. Now in order to map artwork to a surface, your artwork has to be a symbol. So I already created a symbol for this. Here's my symbols panel. It's this one here. It's just called label. And now let's see what happens when we put this on the surface of the bottle. We're going to have a little problem, but we're going to fix it. Get my appearance panel. Let's zoom in over here. Here's my 3D Revolve. Hit the preview. Map artwork. Find our surface. So this looks like it's it. And now let's map our uh, label to the surface here. Here we go. I'll move it over a little bit. Alright, now what I want to do is, though, I want the label uh, to have the same lighting as the artwork. So here's where our problem is going to arise. I'll click Shade Artwork. And now what happens is this label now has gotten transparent because the surface that it's being mapped to has some transparency on it. So we're going to have to do something about that. So let's uncheck this. Actually, let's cancel this. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make a separate piece for this. All right, so let's just click cancel. So there we go. So everything else is the same except we have no artwork. So what we have to do is I'm going to make another little separate piece map the artwork to that and just put it on top of the bottle. So what I have to do is make another rectangle the proper size. So this is going to be half the bottle. If it's a little tall that's okay. You'll see in a second. Alright so here's my new piece. I'll just move it away so we don't get confused doesn't matter what color it is. You'll see why in a second. Alright, let's get this out of the way. This is already a symbol. Let's apply our effect to this. So I made a graphic style, so now this will have the same lighting and everything as my original bottle. Uh, when we have something like this, this is an additive style. You can see the little fill with the line through it we have to hold down the Alt key or the Option key on the Mac when we apply it to this shape here. Alright, there we go. So now we can be uh, positive that this and the bottle are lit the same way. So now let's map our artwork to this. Here's my appearance panel, 3D Revolve. Hit the preview. Map artwork find our surface. There it is. Map the artwork to the surface. Well, it looks like I made just the right size. Now I want to shade it so it gets the nice gleam in there. Uh, but I don't want to see that big brown area. All I have to do is check invisible geometry and that'll hide the original shape that we drew and only show the mapped artwork. So there we go. So now we can just put this in place as a separate object. Okay, so that's it for today. So hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.